Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios and there is a tropical storm in the area so they canceled Jollywood for tonight and I figured since a lot of people don't want to come to the parks during the rain, maybe uh, the wait times would be a little bit low. On top of that, we're going to continue our 12 days till Christmas vlogmas where I'm vlogging every single day until Christmas and it, we are just nine days away, nine days away to Christmas. So we're going to ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful Hollywood Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It looks like a rainy winter wonderland here at Disney's Hollywood Studios and I can't believe they just canceled Jollywood for tonight. I think on opening night it was raining heavier than this but nobody's gonna have a good time in this kind of weather. I'm gonna try to ride as many rides as I can because I figured nobody will be here. For me, I feel like the rain doesn't bother me that much. As long as I have an umbrella and I can keep the camera dry, then we're good to go. And uh, like I said, usually people don't come to the parks when it's raining out, so that makes the wait time super low. I don't think I'm gonna be doing another Jollywood Nights until 2024 if they bring it back next year uh, because I'm gonna be leaving soon. But I'm glad that I got to come to Hollywood Studios one more time before the holiday season is ending for me. It is so beautiful here, even on a rainy day. I uh, often like to clean my shoes and I was walking around in the rain. I'm like, why does my shoes feel so weird? And there's literally soap inside them. So it's coming off of the shoes because they're getting wet. How funny is that? Now that I think about it, I hope my feet don't start to burn like the chemicals inside the shoe cleaner. I got it from inside the mall. You know how you walk past them and they're like, hey, let me clean your shoes. And uh, I'm very gullible. So yeah, I walked away with their biggest, uh, their biggest cleaning product package. <laughs> Look at that, Slinky Dog Dash is a 25 minute wait. Rise of the Resistance is a 35 minute wait. It's actually really nice to come now. See, we're making out little Tower Terror 45 minutes. I can't believe Toy Story Mania has a longer wait time to Slinky Dog Dash right now. But I, I mean, that's all outdoors, but I wouldn't mind. I think we're gonna actually duck in and ride Rise of the Resistance right now, only because it's such a low wait time. And uh, the only bad part about going to the park in the rain is your shoes. Like I said, now I got uh, soggy shoes. Soggy shoes, no one's got time for soggy shoes or soggy bottoms. Just doing my part, cleaning the streets of Hollywood. One shoe, one foot step at a time. I'm really hoping that once we get off Rise of the Resistance, it's going to stop raining. Uh, so we're going to head that way now and hope for the best. I'm trying to keep dry. My shoes are soaked, but I'm doing pretty good. Just like the ones I used to know. Wow, look at this. Almost nobody in the outside queue because nobody wants to be standing outside. So this is literally going to be a walk-on. Roger, this is Black Leader. I hear you're a fine-looking group of recruits. Well, no time to waste. Let's get you on your way to the general. Airspeed sensor. Thank you, Night Dog. Black Leader, are you and your team ready? I am Lieutenant Beck. As you heard from Ray, Resistance buys the ship is now to the command of the First Order. He will disembark now. of the First Order. We will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side and now you will pay. The resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. Get us out of here, R5. Hello, <laughs> 
detected as watching. Take those turbo lift and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, the doors are the prisoners. We have a breach in attention block three. Find an alternate route. Who picked these two droids anyway? Whoa, Detachment to level D. the rain did not stop and we just beelined it to baseline and now I'm standing underneath an umbrella uh, holding down one of the tables but nobody's uh, kind of wanting to sit here right now because it's very wet we just want to stand all of the tables and chairs are wet and they even got this section closed off I wonder what they got going on under there huh and I'm just standing here underneath an umbrella and uh, waiting for my friends I think they're grabbing a drink good old baseline everyone loves baseline I don't think I have it in me anymore. I think we're gonna have to call it a day here at Hollywood Studios. The rain ain't stopping, and uh, it's definitely uh, getting darker out, so might as well uh, maybe get something to eat. I said when I officially walked off all of the soap, I'd be done for the day, and I ain't got no suds anymore. I ain't got no suds on me. I think they're gonna do the tree lighting soon, so I'm gonna stay here and wait. And I got Gertie right in front of me, so this is the perfect spot. And now, joining me live to count down the tree lighting club is Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Oh, season's greetings, everybody. We just can't wait to share this magical holiday moment with all of you. So come on, pals. because when uh, Jollywood usually kicks off would be about this time right now. But I am happy they did give full refunds and even credits. I hear some people even have uh, return visits to Jollywood 2024. I mean, I don't know if that's true or not, but that means uh, that it's confirmed that it's coming back if they're giving people rain checks, you know? The wind is starting to pick up uh, along with the rain. Like the rain is coming down a little bit, but the the, the wind is actually starting to really take take uh, gust. Huh. All right, it's getting a little too crazy. The umbrella. Oh, ah! There it is. The wind is so strong. I feel like it's gonna pick me up and then take me away. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. 
Now that we are back home, it was just way too rainy out there. In fact, it, it is a, it's a tropical storm right now. Uh, but we need to go get some dinner. Uh, and I changed out, got some fresh socks on. My feet are not chemically burned. So that's a good thing. Uh, but yeah, I don't even know where we're going. But all of us are just hanging out and kind of taking each other's company while it lasts because we're all going to go home for the holidays and not see each other for a while. I mean, I plan on staying up uh, in Pennsylvania for basically all the way till 2024, uh, coming back down for New Year's Eve. So it's kind of nice to kind of enjoy the resorts and go to the parks during the holiday season with some friends before heading home and seeing family. I present to you one cookie for one Dalmatian. Thank you. Yeah. Do you like the cookies or the cupcakes better? At least she likes the cookies. We decided on grabbing dinner uh, at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. It's one of my favorite things to do outside the parks and it's a good thing to do during the rain because a lot of stuff is indoors or in close like, proximity. I can't stand walking through the boardwalk though because your feet are wet and it's got the wood floors. But I think we're heading to the Bellevue Lounge. I love coming here because it is just so cozy and it's got like old timey uh, radios playing and you can hear them. They turned them down a little bit so you gotta get real close. Put them right there. Y Your Honor, what, what is this? Empty those mail sacks on Judge Harper's desk. But we got six Isn't that so cool? I love it in here. How could I forget the Christmas spices? Oh, the Christmas spices. A fancy gingerbread martini. Thanks, Meg. Cheers. My jacket is a bomber jacket that's reversible and it's a Star Wars one, so I was showing people, and that's why it looks like I have a brand new jacket on. But this gingerbread espresso martini is so good. I love it. And they actually have a gingerbread old fashioned. I had to get a little pick me up, though. A little pick me up. This is the back of the jacket. And then this is the front pocket park. And like I said, it's reversible. How cool is that jacket? I'm like obsessed, especially with the sleeves on the other side. And it's good for the rainy day today. Normally, I always suggest dining actually outside of the boardwalk, but that's not like that today. This is the tropical storm that's in Florida. The December tropical storm. I always get the chicken parm, but I'm thinking about switching it up this time. But it's so sad because when you find something you really like, you don't want to try anything else because you just want to keep getting the thing you like. So I don't know. I don't know. We got some pizzas for the table. Pizza carne. I think it's got some uh, gabagool on there. And then, <laughs> got some good. and then we got the margarita, the gabagool. <laughs> Okay, hand me a slice of that carne. Carne meat. Thank you. Lots of flop on this one, though. Oh no, look at I just lost all of the carne. It's a very floppy pizza, so we're gonna have to maybe do it like this. I don't know, I can't get it in there. I think I'm gonna get a fork. It is piping hot, too, so if I took a bite out of that slice, I knew that cheese would definitely slap down on my bottom lip and burn me. Everyone does that. You know, everyone does it. So I made the right call. I like the pizza here, but I think the pizza that's on the boardwalk is actually better. And it is different pizza. This pizza is not the same pizza from the boardwalk window, which is like right behind the silverware here. The pizza carne was really good. It's got some uh, peppers on there, but now the chicken parm has arrived. Look at that. I love it here. I love the pasta. All good. And what'd you get there? The veal? Oh. Julia got the veal. It looks good. It's delicious, actually. Yeah. Christian, you got some shrimp? I got the secret menu shrimp scampi. Ooh, is it secret? Yep. Not anymore. The chicken parm was the right call, and I'm happy that uh, I ended up getting a little bit of the pizza too because I don't know the portion. I think they changed the chicken a little bit, but the noodles were my favorite thing. I love these noodles so much. And now, tiramisu. 
big pepper day. Might have been. Might have been an off night. These noodles are so good. Honestly, I love coming here. This, I, I was thinking about it. I was trying to add it up in my head. I think I've eaten at this restaurant more than any other Disney restaurant. This is my go-to. The tiramisu is good, but it came in a cup. It came in a cup, but I did appreciate, I think there was a hint of pistachio in there. A hint of pistachio, which I thought was interesting. I can't confirm it or not, but I should ask the chef. Chef? Chef? <laughs> Dinner was great and now we are kind of stuck on the boardwalk because it didn't stop raining. I think it's been raining for several hours now, hasn't it? All day, all night. It's a tropical storm, but I like the way the lights actually reflect off of the like wet boardwalk. You, I'll show you. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love the boardwalk area just because of all the lights. Very fancy. I think we might actually uh, go to the dance hall. Or we'll hang out uh, at the screen door. We always love coming to the dance hall because now they have the second level open and you can come and just overlook all of the boardwalk and you can even see Epcot. The rain is starting to die down a little bit, but look at how beautiful this view is. Isn't that amazing? And right over there is Epcot. You see the top of Spaceship Earth. Probably a little water on the lens there, but I love the view from up here. Oh boy. The lake, so the lake windy. is really blowing. All right. It's so windy. You hold it, it'll be better I'm for you. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> okay. Oh no, not that way. <laughs> we made it inside the lobby and it's so beautiful in here. And you can actually hear the music and the Christmas decorations. They have the Boardwalk Deli gingerbread house right here and a nice little uh, warm fireplace to cozy up. And they got the cool chairs, not the scary ones. These ones are cool because they kind of wrap around you and they get nice and cozy. This is seriously just so amazing. I can feel the warm. Uh, I don't know what happened to me. I'm going to Pennsylvania soon, so I better get my, like my cooled, uh, factor back i don't know what you call it i used to be able to like wear shorts outside like during the winter back in pennsylvania now i'm in pants a jacket and it's just rainy and 50 degree weather and i'm freezing it just hits different down here but the fireplace oh and i'm so excited i actually booked my uh rental my rental car so uh i'm gonna be driving up and I think I might go two days because the drive is like, uh, I can get there if I drove nonstop from Florida right to Pennsylvania, probably in like 14 hours. But I think I might split it up, take a little pit stop, especially because I got Gracie Girl. We always stop at every single welcome center. And uh, I may, yeah, yeah, probably it's going to be during Vlogmas. So I'm probably going to be making a video on the road. That's kind of exciting. If you ever find yourself uh, coming to Disney during the holiday season and uh, you have a free day, one of my favorite things is just resort hopping and uh, going around looking at all the Christmas decorations. Most of the resorts have like a little gingerbread display, like this one is a boardwalk gingerbread. Or of course, a lot of people know the Grand Floridian Cafe. And then they sell like gingerbread shingles during the day. I wish, I want a gingerbread shingle. Oh, I would love a gingerbread tree pop too. Oh, this is not gonna be good. The storm is really too much right now. Hello, I am home. Is there a Gracie dog to greet me? There she is. Why, what are you doing? What are you doing, you fancy girl? Did anybody else get this package in the mail? I got an annual pass holder like uh, mailer and uh, when I opened it up, it came in this envelope. It had a whole bunch of cute wrapping paper. Look at this, even figment wrapping paper. They have like a uh, uh, wrapping paper with uh, figment on it. Look at that. I Oh, I didn't even see this one. Holy moly. Wow, I gotta save this. I don't have much room. These are like one gift wrappings only, but I'm gonna save this for somebody special. I don't know. Someone who loves Disney. I'll tell you that if I don't rip it already.
I am not a good rapper. I'm actually a very bad, I, I, I can't wrap any Christmas gifts. But, uh, I don't know, I would try. I would try with these. I got this as a gift for somebody, and I think I'm going to actually try to use that wrapping paper to wrap it. So you might see that uh, in the next uh, video. Well, actually, I plan on doing all my Christmas shopping in my video. Well, not showing it, though, because I don't want to spoil Christmas, you know? And with that, I think we are done here today. I had a lot of fun, and you know what? It's kind of just like my normal day that I would normally have hanging out with friends. A lot of people always ask me, like, what I do when I'm not making YouTube videos, and I'm just kind of doing the same thing, just not making a video about it. And tonight is just like a normal night that me and my friends would do. We'd go hang out in the parks, we'd, you know, go get something to eat, hang out at the boardwalk. That's kind of just what we do when we're on here. Like, I love living here and I love having friends that love doing the same things that we all like to do. We all appreciate the resorts, the parks, for what they are. A social place, a, a place where people can get entertained and be amused and be in wow. And, like, because that's how I am. As much as I go, like, I still, like, just am so amazed that I get to be here all, like, all the time, you know? So, uh, anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, tomorrow uh, I will see you so bye it's only nine days left to Christmas Gracie are you excited you excited to go home and see grandma and uh, your aunt Bonnie and your niece Ariel huh I don't even know what you would call a dog niece I guess I don't think you ever met Ariel this should be your first. Oh no, you have met Ariel once. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be a good trip, especially with you by my side.